is our last of our uh, GCC further Mass Newton Laws videos. This is uh, our last of our friction video as well. So uh, this example says, a mass of 18 kilograms is pushed up a rough slope of incline 35 degrees to the horizontal by a force of 200 newtons, which acts parallel to the slope. It accelerates uniformly from 2 meters per second to 7.2 meters per second in 1.3 seconds. First part says draw a force diagram showing all the forces acting on the mass. So we'll get started on that now. Okay, we have got our uh, got our wee diagram to draw. So to draw your diagram, draw a horizontal line, draw your uh, put a box on your line. This is on your slope, I should say, and then we'll scroll down a wee bit. We have 18 kilograms, so 18 g is coming vertically down. And the question that told us the incline was 35 degrees. So remember, mark on your normal reaction. Do we dash line on through? That's also 35 degrees. And what else have we got? Um, it says a force of 200 newtons acts parallel to the slope. So 200 newtons is acting up the slope. And part two of the question mentions you to find the frictional force. So we've got to find this, and it's accelerating up the slope, and we don't know what that acceleration is just yet. So there's your force diagram, everything done. It says, find the size of the frictional force. To be able to find the size of the frictional force, we have to first work out what your acceleration is. So in the question it told you, your initial velocity was 2, your final velocity was 7.2, and it changed from u to v in 1.3 seconds. So A is what we want to find. So V is equal to U plus AT. So that's 7.2 is equal to 2 plus 1.3 times your A. A wee bit of working out then. 7.2 minus your 2 divided by 1.3 will be equal to your A. So whatever that works out to be, and it works out very nicely as A is equal to uh, 4 meters per second squared. Now what we need to do is find uh, find your find the force the frictional force so we now know in this diagram we now know we've worked out this a is four so back to your diagram and we're going to resolve parallel to the plane going upwards and we're going to use uh, force equals force equals ma i didn't say f because we've got this f mentioned here we didn't want to confuse anything so force equals ma so going up the slope You've got 200. Up the slope, you've got 200. Down the slope, you've got your F. But also, and this is one that people forget, down the slope, you also have the component of the weight, which is 18 sine 35. And that's equal to my, to my mass, which is 18, times my acceleration, which we've just worked out uh, to be 4. Okay. Now, a, wee bit of, a good bit of working out to do, but you can say you're 200 minus 18g sine 35, oops, that's a 35, minus the 18 times the 4 will work out to be your F. And then after you can work out your F to be to two decimal places, 24.76 newtons to two decimal places. And that's it. Okay, so there's part one and part two done. Part uh, three and four then, it's like a separate question that says when the mass reaches a speed of 7.2, the force pushing the, pushing the mass up the slope is removed. The mass then continues a further x meters up the slope before coming to rest. Okay, that means uh, something's changed. That means we need a new diagram. So we'll zoom out a wee bit just to allow me to see this so we can uh, draw our diagram. So uh, part, uh, so that's part one and two. I'll draw a line on those. It's like a new setup altogether. So you've got your Your 8 kilograms, 18 kilograms, sorry, that's 35. That's going to be your normal reaction. Continue this on down. That's also going to be 35 degrees. And our, it's moving this way. It's still going to be moving this way. But the acceleration is going to be a lot less. If, if Maybe even if it's going to actually be slowing down, it's going to be a negative acceleration. So that's what we've got. If it's still moving up that direction, your friction is still going to be acting. And if it's still moving, 
friction's acting at its maximum, so friction will still be acting at 24.76. So I'm using my two decimal places version of this. We have no force going up, uh, so there's nothing pulling this thing up. So let's zoom back in on this. And we will finish off the diagram. What I forgot to put on my diagram was my, whoops, what I forgot to put on my diagram was my 8, uh, my 8G. So just add that on now, and then we're good. So that's our diagram, that's all we've got. So, uh, first thing we want to do is we're going to resolve parallel to your plane going upwards, and we're going to use, and I'm going to say F equals MA. I can say F because F isn't mentioned now in my question. So going up the plane, I actually don't have any forces going up the plane, so I've got minus 24, so the 24.7 going down the plane, so it's minus 24.76, and then minus my 8G sine 35, and that's equal to my mass. Sorry, that was 18G, I should have said, 18G sine 35, and then that is equal to my mass, which is 18, uh, times my uh, acceleration, which we don't know. That's, of course, what we're trying to find out. So then a bit of working out, you can find out that your A works out to be minus 7.11 meters per second squared, and that was the two decimal places. Okay, let's read the last part of the question. The last part of the question says find the value of x. So it says when the mass reaches 7.2 meters per second, the force pushing the mass up the slope is removed. We've now calculated the acceleration or the deceleration. The mass then continues a further x meters up the slope before coming to rest. This question, the last part of the question, is now just a simple SUVAT equa uh, equation. So my initial velocity is now 7.2 because that's the speed at which it starts to slow down at the acceleration of minus 7.11. And my I come to rest. When I come to rest, my velocity will be zero. So your final velocity is zero. And what we want to find is the distance, so or the uh, x, which is the distance, so s is equal to s. s is equal to x. So we're going to use v squared equals u squared plus 2as. And then you can say 0 is equal to 7.2 squared. And then that's going to be plus 2 times minus 7.11 times your x. Okay, so I'm just going to bring the 7 times the minus uh, 7.2. 1, 1 across, so uh, times x, and that was going to be 14, 14.22x then is equal to, if you square the 7.2, you're going to get 51.84, divide across by your 14.22 to get your final answer, x is equal to 6 point, sorry, 3.65 meters, and that is the two decimal places. Okay, that is the end of that video, I'm just going to zoom out a wee bit so we can see that question in its entirety, if it will let me. Let's see. So you can see the whole uh, the whole solution. There's your question and your whole solution uh, to finish this off.